Let's rip the bong and see how it fucks the air. Let's do that. We're going to put all three just so you have downstairs. I'm going to take the under on it at five seconds or less. It's going to zero. Five seconds or less. 100. That thing is at 100. Ah! Ah! Shit! Ah! Shit! Under five! So for those who don't know, I, I helped Jay with his podcast. There's been a few, there's been like one or two episodes we did in here. Uh, it was a lot darker. He just redid this all. And I'm apparent, what do you say on, on the first cut? <laughs> Chase is the first cut as of right now in the renovated shop. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's only right. Yeah. And I'm going to Jeff, Jeff should be the first one coming. Jeff should be the first like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make like that. Just fix shit. <laughs> Someone's got it. While you're holding that camera. Right. <coughs> See, it's weird. Now, now you're kind of a guest on my stuff. Yeah, right. It's weird. What's going on, Chase's channel? Yeah, I know. It's different. To, yeah, mine's just vlogging. But it's weird. I'm trying to like keep it as raw as possible. Like this is barely gonna have any cuts. Have you watched any of them? Yeah, I've been watching all the ones that pop up. Oh, hell yeah! Appreciate you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they're raw as fuck. They're like 15 minutes long. Oh, I don't watch a full 15 minute. Call yourself, a, you call yourself a friend. No, I'm just kidding. I don't expect anybody to. That's not why I put them up for people to watch. It's honestly, literally for me to watch. And but I know people are watching, so it's like. I mean, since we, started, I'm not gonna pretend like there's no audience. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. Since we started the podcast and I learned about content, you know, a lot, a lot from YouTube. I think the one thing I'm realizing is wherever it catches, whoever sees it, it's like the material is out there for someone to watch. You know? Yeah. The progressiveness of it, I think, it's just like it's like we we're talking about. It's like it's digital real estate. It's like this is always here, you know. Ten years from now, something goes on. It's like, yo, this is what we've been doing. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean, we just didn't catch the algorithm. Dude, literally, someone commented my my video I posted today. Um, somebody left a comment on another video, and said, "You've been uploading for ten years." I'm amazed how you're only at 200 subscribers and it's it's because I haven't caught the algorithm <laughs> and I also haven't been consistent either. I've literally up until now, I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube in like half a decade. Really? It's been a half a decade? Four years. Well, you've been working at providing all these people with all sweet content the entire time. Right. But I never stopped posting like Instagram or TikTok. I just YouTube. But it's weird because like, I consider myself a YouTuber. I always have. Like, that's my mentality. Yeah. I'm, I never... I never thought not wild. we'd be doing this, dude. Mm-hmm. I never thought. Well, like podcast stuff? Podcast, YouTubing, putting things out for... For the rest of the world to see that doesn't see, like, a part of your own world. Like, when your yeah. homies come to the house, it's kind of like, only your homies know who you are. Only, yeah. only the homies know how dope you are. And it's like, until you get it out to more people, it's like, oh, shit, you do this? Like, yeah. Well, that's what my kind of, honestly, it's kind of my theory on all this. Like, I may, I like I've been saying, I do this mainly for myself to look back. One, like, when I'm old, I'm like, oh, I can relive this exact day. What was I doing on, like, you know, what's today's day? I don't even know. <laughs> what is today's date? <laughs> you know today's date? The 20th. Yeah, it's like, what was I doing on uh, February 20th? I can now go back. Oh, yeah, it's getting a haircut by Jay. He just redid all this. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like a time... It's, it's, it's time inter- traveling. Yeah, it's an it's, interactive time travel. Yeah, literally. It's the closest thing we have to time traveling. And so that's why I mainly do it. But what you just said where it's just like... Um, yeah, you know, all my friends think I'm dope or something like that, or I, I like that's all the internet is. It's like other people that could think you're dope, and the, the social media is just help you, you know, get discovered by them. And they're like, oh yeah, look, I'd hang out with that guy. And that's why I'm keeping the shit so raw, because I'm like, man, I could use more friends. You know what I mean? I'd hang out with some more people. Why not? No, absolutely. I'll tell you what, you're going to be That's going to be fucking awesome. Well, I can't talk about that on the vlog. Oh, That's that confidential. That's confidential. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, though, the, the most interesting thing that I would probably want to watch if somebody was vlogging, though, and this kind of goes back to, I guess, saying 
everybody's life is interesting, but like there has to be some type of value to it. Right. You know, if someone's just dicking off, like not really doing much, it's like, I don't really find much time in watching that. Right. I, I agree. But I want to watch something that someone's going to teach me something. Right. Or you're going to change my perspective over something I thought. I always love the idea that when you're on the internet and you're on social media, it's an undisturbed like conversation or an undisturbed thing you're saying. I've been in a room so many times where someone's saying something good and then someone just interrupts the shit out of it. It's like, mm-hmm. man, on the internet and social media, like you can't stop the video. Like you can't interject what the person is saying if you don't agree. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, you have to listen to the whole fucking thing. Or you can turn it the fuck off. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of just you make the choice as a viewer to kind of go, I don't like this. It's like, why well, am I fucking watching it? You know? You got people that complain about what other people post. It's like, yo, mind your own fucking business. Post your own shit. Don't post any shit. Don't read anything. I don't fucking know. Bro, you know how like, people have deleted this week? <laughs> Man, I made people to delete this week. Bro, I just see some posts on my gear and idiot. I just delete it. It's like, I'm at nothing. It's like, why? Like, why? It's not going to change nothing. So yeah, just increase it for your life. I do think, though, a lot of people use social media, though, as more of like an entertainment venue, though. And I think that's the part where most people stay distracted. It's like all my stuff that I have on my social media is all like either business shit. It's either like extremely artsy or creative barbering. And I have one hobby, uh, two hobbies that are actually in my Instagram algorithm feed, tattoos and cars. Yo, I don't even have bitches in my fucking, like, fucking algorithm. I don't like looking at bitches. That's a distraction. Like, I don't want to see hot titties all the time. Like, does do I like hot titties? Yeah. But I'm already looking at it at fucking three o'clock in the afternoon when I'm cutting Bob. And it's like, I kind of got a order. I got to take a walk. I'm going to fucking do that. I'm fucking dumb as that shit. Well, so you want to see some teddies? Like, I don't want to watch the videos. Fuck that. He doesn't want to be hard in front of Bob. Yeah. yeah it's, Bob. it's rude. It's yeah. rude. Sorry. That didn't happen, by the way. But I don't want it to happen. No, I got to. My, mine's like in between. My, my I get some meme stuff. And then I get educational stuff. I like the educational stuff. So do I. But I, I agree with you with the uh, the value stuff. And that's why I try to do that. That was the first vlog. That's what I said. Like, I always want to try to provide some kind of value. Have you, ever, this. have you ever, like, seen it, though? And I've seen this for social media. There's a lot of clowns that are, like, there's a lot of, like, bullshit that's pushed. It's mm-hmm. not like, like, I see a lot of people that are talking really good. And their, their algorithm numbers aren't that great. Like I hear people saying dope shit, and I'm like, why is this not spread? But this dude over here said some wild shit, and he like snuck it in there, and it's just like it's almost impossible if you don't actually have the following to support it. Well, there, there's unfortunately there's like little things like the hook, the first three seconds of the video wasn't good enough, or like their thumbnail wasn't good enough. Like, literally, sometimes that is the single most deciding fact. Look at the videos I upload. Out of the seven videos I just uploaded this week, they're all less than 100, except one. One is over 1,000. Why is that? Yeah, that's true. It's my thumbnail. I'm telling you, it's my thumbnail and title. It's the best. Because I went, I was grocery shopping, and then I was, like, talking to the camera, saying, like, how I tr- how I try to eat healthy. And the title was Eating Healthy Isn't Hard. And the thumbnail was me holding like peanut butter. And then there was a giant X on it. And I said, and I wrote, Don't buy this. You know what I mean? Got it though. Yeah. That makes sense. People are like, Why shouldn't I buy it? It's called a negative hook or a negative thumbnail or whatever, or negative title. It's all, it's all psychology at that point. Right. That's what I'm saying. So the guys that might be saying the good shit aren't playing the psychology tricks. That's why Mr. Beast blew up, dude. Yeah. He literally plays into human psychology and has gotten so good to making you just... You have to watch to the end. Of what he's doing, yeah. Yeah. He has, dude, he has the highest retention rate out of anybody in YouTube, which is why he's the biggest. I also think that with, with this marketing, like he's able to maintain that by doing things with a massive budget. Like oh, jumping man. Lamborghinis, like I would watch that. Right. But, so you somebody has to have the money to be able to create. He's video. basically creating all the stuff we thought of when we were ten years old. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Massive. Yeah. A massive budget for that. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, he crashed a Lamborghini from the one video I saw. 
And I'm like, that alone is a two hundred and fifty thousand dollars start to the video. Uh, dude, every every yeah, every video it costs him no less than a million dollars. Yeah, like that's nuts. But see that that to me like is something I think people watch because it's something that like we can buy that experience. No, that you have to watch. You have to watch uh, by Harrisley. Yeah, like this guy did that. That's awesome. Yeah, like I would love to do that, but I don't have. No, but he didn't have that to begin with. Like, you know, he started, everybody starts somewhere. He was, he was as normal as you can imagine. Hey, call it the algorithm. No, well, it's not that he called it, he just he played in his favor. What was Mr. Beast doing before YouTube? I'm just, I'm curious. What he was just, he, he, yeah, 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 I mean, there was none. He, dude, he's been doing it since he's been 13. All right, so he just he started super young and had yeah. it time. Same thing with me with the video shit. I had a camera in my hand since I was seven years old. You know what I mean? Head back a little bit. Perfect. Chase got a little hat here. We're going to have to clean these up. Yeah, it works for me. That's why I still honestly like wonder, was that a dumb decision to say no when they offered me a job? <laughs> like, I still, honestly, this is the first time I'm publicly speaking about it. Not thinking about it. Like, I've never had that on video, me saying that. I mean, you made a very, very strong choice that day. Well, I mean, he's not what he is now. My mom didn't know who he was when they offered me a job. Now everyone's grandmother knows who he is. Who he is, yeah. Yeah. Which is no, that's fair. That's fair. And still, who would ever know things like that? He was that's just on cool. the cover of Time Magazine. He said he's the mo- the cover said he's the most watched person on the planet. Yeah, that's wild. The most watched person on the planet. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Touch around a little bit this way. Perfect. And they offered me a job, and I said no. That was bold. Yeah, but it's your it's your life, though. I think everybody can make a choice. But oh, I think. It's a call. <clears throat> How's the studio? It's all right. We're definitely getting the ball rolling correctly. It's like, I just want to do more with it, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to have those events that I was telling you about. It would just be so sick. I mean, just need a little preparation. Yeah. But we're slowly getting there. We're, we're going to have um, an event soon, probably within the next two months. I can't wait for everybody to see it soon. Like, that's one thing that I feel like the world needs to see. The world needs to see your studio. I know, right? We did, We made something special. We really did. I think it's probably one of the most unique things I've ever seen. I remember walking into it the first day. I was just kind of like, what's this? You're just like, oh, no, this is just the white room. I'm like, oh, okay. It's kind of a fantasy factory. Yeah. Like, when you break down the first room, or no, the whole, let's start with the, yeah, the first room with sector one. Mm-hmm. Then you have the tech wall, sector two. Then you wrap around, and then it's an interview station with lights, sector three. Then I've, sector never, I've never heard of bar. And then there's sector five with the hand in the disc. And that's one room. I never heard anyone call it the uh, interview station. <laughs> you can see really how tired I am. Yeah. I got some bags. No, I'll leave the apartment for a little bit, though. No? <laughs> Just cut Chase's hair. It's all over here. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing yeah. the flavor of this burger. Mm-hmm. All he wants is this burger. I'm sorry. I can't give this to you. You got any fries? We got fries. <laughs> Franklin for now. What fries? <laughs> so. I'm going to give him a fry. Set. Keep off. Good boy. Good oh boy. The next fry is for me. <laughs> next fry is for Chase. <laughs> 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 